Hello everybody, this is M.M. ASMR, and today I'm just going to do a little bit of an unusual video. Uh, instead of doing the standard color test, I'm just going to show you a couple of my uh, art pieces. So these are all sculptural wall hangings I'm going to show you. They all are rigged to hang from a wall, and they have three-dimensional elements. These started out as being collages made from scrap paper from a bunch of my um, art students who are between the ages of 4 and 14. And I taught art at a library and this was the, um, the scrap papers. The, and then I just took the scrap papers, I painted them to make the colors more vibrant. And then I put them in a frame, glass. And then I took all these sculptural elements, some of which are found objects like bottle caps. And then I created, and also used some rhinestones, as you can see up here. And then I also created some sculptures that I placed onto the glass. So we see the sculptural form here, and it's got some beads into it. And then this is polymer clay. I'll show you this one here. And they're very, um, they're very shiny, they're very bright. I'm sorry about the reflection, it is glass. This one is called Clown Around Sunrise. There we go. So this is the first one. I'm just gonna put this aside. I'm gonna get another one now. There are 12 of these in total. So this one is called Cruise Line Pool Party. And this is actually very dark blue. I don't know if that's showing on camera. But then we have these blue blocks here, and then we have some yellow rhinestones, some red rhinestones, and then up here we have polymer clay elements mixed with beads. Let me zoom in to show you this. So here we have polymer clay and a bead, 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 and then this is some, um, this is another abstract sculpture I made with a little bit of clay that I stuck onto the canvas. And we have a bead here, a bead there, a block. So it's just very abstract and fun. And they do pop out a little bit from a wall, a couple of inches. So that is Clown Around Pool Party. And I'm sorry I don't have them on a wall right now. I can't get a better image. Now this one is called Elegantly Warped Trophy. So this one is all green and yellow with a little bit of black. And then you have all these sculptural elements. So I did these by taking bottle caps and then I put nail polish in the bottle caps and then I put polymer clay sculptures into the bottle caps. This is just a, a, a bead with rhinestones on top. This here is the cap from Pringles can that's clear. And then I just popped a bead under that. I don't know if you can see it. It's a green bead. And or green a green block rather, a green wooden block. And then I put the polymer clay over that. And it just creates this nice abstract form. And we have one, two, three yellow rhinestones, and one, two, three green rhinestones. Just uh, accenting it. And then there's one two, three black beads with yellow rhinestones on top. So, I don't know, I like this one. It's slightly bigger than the others. The others are mostly um, 8 by 10 inches. And this one is, I believe this one is like um, 10 by 12. I have to measure it again. It's a little bigger. So there is that one. This one is called the Flower Pots Madness. So this one has a lot of colors that remind me of autumn and the fall. So we have gold frame, we have brown background, and then we have pink, yellow, red, kind of a light orange, a dark orange, green. And here with this one again, I did the same thing. I took bottle caps and I put polymer clay in them. Then I also made clay sculptural forms and painted them. 
And then I added some rhinestones. It's a teardrop orange rhinestone. We have one, two, three yellow rhinestones on top of the um, beads. And then this is just another random rhinestone I stuck there. And then these are some more sculptural elements. There's this tiny little one here. And you can see the paper peeking through. And then this one here is the yellow one with a green bead in the center. And then we have one, two, three green beads there. And a fourth one here. Oops. I just have to re-glue some of these. <laughs> and there we go. These are very new. These are the newest collection that I have made. And some of these were literally just finished. And that's why I waited to make this video for you. Okay. Then we have, this one is called Busy Mall. And, I don't know, I think this one has a very 1980s feel to it. So it's got a silver frame. And then as you can see, there's a lot going on here. It's basically just complete craziness. So we have a, like, a fuchsia background. Black orange, yellow, and then we have more black, this is a black block, and then we have a um, orange block, and a white block, and this one is a purple block, and then we have some orange blocks here, this is an orange circular block with a, um, a flat back pearl on top of it. We have an orange rhinestone here, an orange rhinestone here, a pink rhinestone, and then one, two, three light pink rhinestones. Then we have some yellow stones, one, two, three, that are made with acrylic and are clear. And now with this one, even though I used a lot of beads and baubles, I also put a lot of sculptural work in this one. Like I don't know if you can see the detail on the polymer clay sculpture in here inside the bottle tap and then if we move down a little bit this is another um, polymer sculptural element that I put in this one all polymer clay and very detailed that took quite a while to do and the way I make the polymer clay shiny is I put clear nail polish on top of it and then let it dry um, then we have I'm trying to get the camera out of the way sorry about the reflection then this is a sculpture element that I created and painted, and then I stuck two rhinestones in. So we have this pink rhinestone, and then this beautiful, look at this one. I love this, rhin this rhinestone. It's actually a bead, and it's clear, but it's got red lines. I love that one. And then when we move down over to here, this is another clay, polymer clay element that is very busy, and it looks like a little tassel. And then here we have another yellow rhinestone. We have some pink pieces. So this one is crazy. Of all the pieces that I've made, this one is probably like the most chaotic. But I don't know, I just think it kind of somehow it flows well, <laughs> despite being like really, really busy and chaotic. So I'm gonna move this one aside for a second. And show you the next one. So this one is called Jungle Madness, and this one is also a bit chaotic and crazy. So as you can see, a lot of colors in this one too. This one is very similar to um, the mall piece, the busy mall piece, just because it is so like busy and hectic, but I don't know, this one just reminded me of the jungle a little more, hence the name. So what we have here is we have a fuchsia background, black orange, yellow, and green. That's where I made the collage out of. And then I layered that. This is a um, yellow block. It's kind of curved. This is a curved green block. This is a curved triangular block. And this is a longer curved yellow block. And then on top of those, I put rhinestones. We have a green rhinestone and another green rhinestone and a big pink rhinestone. On this one, I put an orange rhinestone, Sorry. and then here's an orange rhinestone just sitting on the bottom here. Two yellow rhinestones, we have a pink rhinestone.
limestone on the side. There's another pink limestone on this side. Two lighter pink limestones, and then one, two, three green limestones. And then we have this teardrop shape, more three-dimensional pink limestone, yellow limestone. So as you can see, there's rhinestones everywhere. This is actually a clear rhinestone. I'm going to show you this. A clear flat back rhinestone. And I was able to get a really cool pattern in the bottom of this just by playing around with glue, believe it or not. And then I put a green limestone on top of this. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, oh, and then this is a big sculpture element. I just decided to make it kind of orange with different colors on it. But one thing I did want to point out to you is, like, there's a lot of polymer clay work in this one as well, like here. And then this one in particular, this was one of my most complex. Look at that. That's all polymer clay. I don't even know how I got this effect. It takes a while. This is another big orange clay piece. This is made with a different type of clay than the polymer. This is another bottle cap with a little polymer element. This is just another polymer element that sits on top. Oh, and then we have this tiny little polymer element. And I don't know if you can see it because the frame is black, but there's a little black squirrel reaching up here. As if it's hiding in the jungle. And then we have another polymer element here. And then down here we have these lovely little, I found these beads, they're clear and they're pink and they're legumes. So I thought, wow, those would look so pretty like that. Oh, and then there's a little yellow rhinestone down here, orange one here, just yellow one here. So lots of different rhinestones. But this is another busy chaotic one, but I don't know, I think it somehow flows nicely. And it was really fun to make these, you know, when I saw the scraps that the kids had from the class, I just got ideas from the scraps, they inspired me. Now this next one is called Tribal Dance, and this one is very inspired by tri tribal art from Africa. I really love a lot of the tribal work um, from Africa, they're very beautiful, like all the, the different tribes have different um, art, and I just am really inspired by the colors. So, when I got the scrap paper here, I decided to do a brown background and then use yellow, red, and green papers to create a collage. And these are colors you see very frequently in a lot of African flags. And I kept this one a little bit more minimal just because I felt that the sculpture, that the collage elements were so strong. So this one, I just um, created a, sorry, well, there's a lot of glare on this one. Um, I created a little sculpture sculpture element I painted I stuck it on and I put a bead and this bead is actually a brown bead it's like a tannish bead and then the only other thing I did with this I didn't want to go crazy with rhinestones with this one so pretty much every other element on this one is polymer clay so this is a very complicated mix of um, polymer clay and it's very three-dimensional I don't know if that's showing up on camera but it sticks out quite a bit and then when you go up here, I have this polymer clay element that's just lying down. And again, it's drying. This is a brand new one, so I don't want to move that. It's actively drying. And then this one here. Look at that. Once again, polymer clay. This piece sticks up really far. Then we have this little, <laughs> this little rope piece. And then we have one, two, three little dots. And then at the very end here, I just have another piece that has brown and red and green and yellow, and it sticks up in a swirl. And again, I have to be careful about how I handle these, because when I tell you that these are like just finished, some of them are literally still drying. That's how new they are. So I have to be really careful. All right. So now this one is called Playful Garden. And this one is a little tinier than a lot of the others, whereas the vast majority of 8 by 10. This one is about, um, I think this is about, I think this is 6 by 8. Yeah, this is a tinier little guy. So this one, we have a background of green and light brown and very light yellow, mellow, mellow yellow. We have a silver frame. And then I just put these sculptural elements on it. Sorry. It's hard to hold the camera and do this. Um, so... This one is just a sculpture element that I painted yellow, and I put a bead in here. So we have a, a green marble, and then a green rhinestone, 
Over here, there's a little building block I painted yellow, and I put a green rhinestone on top and a polymer sculpture piece um, on the top of, well, both of them on the top. This is technically the top facing out. This is like the literal top. <laughs> then this one here, the same thing. I just painted a block and I put a bead or a rhinestone. And then this is a little bit more complicated of a um, polymer piece. Up here, I used the same type of clay as the one down here, and I just made it with a, a green bead, put, put a green marble in the center, and a little green rhinestone on top. Then we have this one standalone green bead here. And then we have the centerpiece of this, which is this very complicated polymer clay sculpture. And it is very three-dimensional. I don't know if that's showing up entirely on camera. But it's got all these swirls, and I use green and brown and yellow just to match with the aesthetic of the piece. And there's no rhinestones or anything in there. So that is that one. Okay, get you another one now. And this one is called Bizarre Parade. This is another one that is still drying, so I have to be really careful with this. Okay, so this one is called Bizarre Parade, and we have a black and gold frame, and then we have green and red and orange and black collage background. Um, and then over here we have these pieces that I created, these sculpture pieces, and it's white and black, black and white, however you want to say it. And I just put one here, one here, and then I put a black and white bead in the center of this one, and a green bead in the center of this one. Then over here we have a red building block, and then this is like a black little wooden piece, or I painted it black, and then I put a big green rhinestone there, and an orange rhinestone on top. And then here is another one of my polymer clay sculptures. And at the bottom of this, I added a yellow rhinestone that will just glow when it hangs on a wall a little bit when the sun hits it a certain way. And then this is a bottle cap, which I painted the, the inside. And then instead of putting polymer clay, I just put one of those beautiful um, striped beads. This is another bottle cap. This came off of a Coke, actually. And I painted green on the inside and put a little polymer clay element there. And then I just used rhinestones to, oh, and then this is another green bead, a big green bead that I put at the bottom there, which matches the big green bead up here. And then I just kind of went crazy with rhinestones with this one. So we have a teardrop shape orange rhinestone facing up, a teardrop shape rhinestone facing down. We have a yellow rhinestone here, a pale yellow. And then we have more vibrant yellows here, 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 and here. And then another yellow one here that matches this one. And then a little red one up here that's just a little bit more vibrant than the color of the red of the paper. And the reason I called this one, I mean this one after a parade, um, was because this looks like a parade to me. <laughs> like, you know, it could be like a band or a float. And that's why, like, I feel like this is a parade and then these are buildings or people looking at it. So it just reminded me of a parade. That's why I called it Bizarre Parade. Because let's face it, all of this work is very, very bizarre. Very abstract and very bizarre. Now, I'm going to show you another one. This one is called Operatic Grand Finale, which is ironic because this is not actually the grand finale. This is, I have two more after this, right? And I got to be careful because there's a mirror here, and right now I don't have any makeup on, so trust me, you do not want to see me looking at you through that mirror. It would be quite horrifying. Um, so anyway, this one is very busy and very, I personally really like this one because I love bright colors. So in the background we have blue, yellow, red, and orange. And then we have a bunch of different elements. The way I made this, this is a yellow block, and then this is a blue block, or a blue block in a circular form. This is a blue block in a square form, and then I put rhinestones. We have one, two, three rhinestones, all yellow, and then one red rhinestone up here, so four in total. And then we have a polymer clay element here. And then this was made with foam blocks. So we have orange foam, yellow foam, yellow foam, and red foam. And they're accented by one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten of these blue beads, and then one red teardrop bead sticking down from the core or from the base. And then we have one, two, three yellow rhinestones here. We have a red teardrop rhinestone here and an orange teardrop rhinestone, and they're connected in the center. And it's very befitting because this is a red rhinestone and an orange background, and an orange rhinestone and a red background. This is another blue rhinestone like that. And we have one, two, three blue rhinestones leading up here, up here are yellow rhinestones. And then over here we have a triangular red block that I colored in, and another green teardrop shape. This is a red teardrop shape, just like this one, except in red. And then I put a red rhinestone here because the red rhinestone just kind of draws the eye in because it's a much more vibrant red. Um, and then we have this very complicated polymer clay sculpture standing on top of this. If we move up here, we have a red rhinestone, uh, excuse me, an orange rhinestone sitting on top of a yellow circular bead, top of a red section, another mellow yellow rhinestone. This is a bottle cap with a polymer clay element in it. And it looks like the collage element is holding this. And then down here, and I've got to watch the mirror. This is a mirror, the little circular mirror. And then this one has some red, red rhinestones on the bottom here. This is a piece that I did, a very a sculptural piece that I, paint, that I painted to match the colors here. And embedded, there is this very unusual yellow rhinestone with a silver edge, a blue rhinestone with a silver edge, and in the back here there's a red rhinestone with a silver edge, with a silver edge. Let me see if I can get this without getting myself in the frame. What do you see? So this is like an orange red rhinestone with a silver. And when you see it in the mirror, it, it shows it. That's why the mirror is there to show off the element. So there you go for that one. That's one of my favorites. I just think it, it turned out really, really nice. Okay, so we only have two more to go. So this one is called Backstage Chaos. And this one got its name because this reminds me, I, I'm a playwright, and if you've ever been in the backstage of a theater before a production goes on, it is absolutely crazy. So that's why I named this this because it's just like it's it's organized chaos, but um, it reminds me kind of like what the feel is of the theater, and it's also very joyful. All my work is supposed to be joyful. Um, if you guys are looking at these and if they're making you smile, I mean, even if you're kind of like shocked, like what the heck is this? As long as they're making you smile, um, then they've done their job. That's the whole point of my work, just to be happy. So this piece reminds me a lot of like of that kind of happy mood. You know, you have this nice like, nice green, this fuchsia color, this dark blue, and then you have all these different elements here. So what I did for this one, after I made the collage, is I decided that I wanted to use two Pringles caps, which are great because they're plastic and they come out. See this here? This is a, a little dot from nail polish. I painted the rims of the Pringles with nail polish to give them, you know, a color. So this one is um, purple, and this one down here is blue. And I, this dot actually got onto there totally by accident, and I just thought it looked really cute, um, so I left it. So it was, a ha as Bob Ross would say, a happy accident. So what we have here, we have a dark, we have just a regular like, circular bead here, and then we have the, the cap, and then another circular bead on top, and then a blue rhinestone, just to finish it off. And then we did a very similar thing here. I have a green um, block here and a blue block up here and the cap and then the blue rhinestone on top. So this one and this one are supposed to look very matching. Then over here we have a blue bead, or blue, what am I saying? I'm sorry, a blue block with a bead and then another, like a little, a little like circular bead and then a bigger bead attached. This is all polymer clay elements. And then this is a little wooden piece that I just coated with nail polish and glitter and stuck it on here. And I just think it works color-wise. Then we have another circular bead with a rhinestone on top. Then this is another circular block. And I got this little, I found this little piece um, in a junk pile one day in an art store. 
and it was originally like blue and red. I think it was an old earring, so I just painted it purple and added a bunch of rhinestones. We have one, two, three green, one, two, three, and another one of those blue um, teardrop shape rhinestones, same as here. And then here we have a green block, and then we have one, two, three, four, five rhinestones in blue and purple. We have another rhinestone. This is actually a very light blue bead, even though it looks white. And then lots of polymer clay elements here. And this is another polymer clay sculpture that is very, um, that is more complex. And then there's, these are not actually rhinestones. This is just green polymer clay that's stuck into that. But for this particular one, I went crazy with the rhinestones. So we have one, two, three blue rhinestones here. We have a purple rhinestone here with a little green glitter element on top. A green rhinestone here. Oh, this is another polymer clay element over here. And we have one, two, three jade color beads. And I gotta be careful about poking them because they're also drying. Um, then we have a purple bead up here. And one, two, three green beads here. One, two, three blue. Here is a green circular black with a purple rhinestone on top. And another purple rhinestone. Oh, and then this is a, like a bigger bead that I found. I put another green rhinestone on top of that. So again, it's just kind of organized chaos looking. <laughs> so that's that one. So now we come to the very last piece. And this one is called Futuristic Ice Age. Now, I will admit that originally I had 15 of these pieces. Um, however, I only have 12 left because three of them have sold. So I'm not able to show you all of the pieces. Um, I will include a picture at the beginning of this video with 14 of them. The 15th one sold very quickly, so I can't really show you that, unfortunately. But this is the last one that I have in my possession, so we have a collection of 12 here now. As I said, this one is called Futuristic Ice Age. It's got a blue frame. It's white, black, purple, and light blue. Um, look at that, a cat here. I have three cats, that's how this happens. Um, blue, and light blue. So with this one, I really wanted to stick to a theme of these colors, and specifically focus on the light blue, because I just think that's such a beautiful color. So what I did here, this is a purple block, the block I painted purple, and I added all of these rhinestones that are very light blue, and they're very lightweight. All of these pieces are lightweight, by the way, they're, and they're rigged to hang on a wall on the back. And then this is the poly a polymer clay element, then we have a purple rhinestone, and if you move up here we have three, one, two, three blue rhinestones, this one bigger than the other, so then we have this big blue rhinestone and a polymer piece on top of it and then a teardrop shaped blue rhinestone and a purple rhinestone and over here we have teardrop shaped blue and one purple, two purple this is another Pringles cat <laughs> and it's suspended by a purple block and then we have a polymer clay element here and this beautiful bead and then one, two, three rhinestones one, two, three more purple rhinestones another Another um, beautiful bead, beautiful blue bead. This is a bottle cap that I painted, and I love the way this is the way the paint kind of melted into the cap. It gave it a little bit of depth, it did look really cool. And then I put a rhinestone in there. And then for the centerpiece, I created this sculpture, and it's got a blue bead element here and here. I don't know if you can see, and then the square bead at the bottom. So that is that one. So that is it. That's all 12 of this collection that I have left. Um, I did a 15 and three of them sold. So what I typically do with these is that I sell them for $40 and I give $5 of that 40 to a charity that promotes um, teaching art classes in libraries to give kids that might not otherwise have an opportunity to engage with art. Um, the chance to go to classes. So I give $5 of each of these pieces to that charity whenever I sell one. 
Um, yes, yeah, so they're they're kind of inexpensive just because they are collage. I mean, most of my work sells for over a hundred, but I wanted to do something a little a little less expensive for these, especially because I'm going to be taking them to a street fair kind of soon. So, or rather, it's more of an art fair. But I really hope that you like looking at them. I know that they're really very strange. Um, I know this is not typical of my videos, but some of you were asking to see some of my art because I had mentioned being an artist in the past. So this is the literally the newest pieces. Some of them are so new they're still drying. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed looking at the colors and I hope that the pointer was helpful. And I hope this was a little bit relaxing even though it wasn't my straightforward type of ASMR. Alright, so thank you for watching and check back to my channel soon for more traditional type of ASMR videos. Bye!